Hello there. Today we are going to create another night landscape using Affinity Designer version 2. This is a beginner friendly tutorial. You can follow it up even if you are new to vector art. The best part is in vector art we can fix, we can adjust, we can modify everything we want even after you draw a shape. So that your stroke, you don't need to be a perfect one. Okay, you don't need to develop manual skills across multiple months to be ready. No, we can always grab a node tool and fix the shape or change the shape in any given moment. So it's really flexible and beginner friendly medium. All right, let's get started. I mentioned this will be a night landscape. We're going to create a Northern Lights. So let's start with a rectangle like that. And we will get rid of the outline color and turn it into very dark blue color. This will be our main backdrop. I will stretch this across my artboard like that. And now I will use a gradient tool. All right, so let's grab fill tool with gradient like that. So you may ask why I put the color in first and then I use the gradient on it instead of using the gradient in the first time. So in that case, I didn't get just a default gradient. It's already using the mine color plus lighter one automatically. So that's something that is really helpful here because that's exactly what I plan to do. That's why I put normal color first and then fill it with gradient. And this gradient already got this first color I pick. So I will keep this color. I will add a little bit of noise here. When you've got really dark colors, you can add some noise to get nice texture in them. And this one, the light color, it's too bright. I want this scene to be dark. So the northern lines just pops. All right, something like that. This will be my backdrop. I'm not going to modify this later on, so I can lock this layer. I click on the layer and this little lock icon here. This way I will not select this by mistake. All right, this is night sky. So let's populate this with some lights mimicking stars. We can do that with a very tiny oval. So I will zoom in. I like to zoom in with my keyboard shortcut. So that's command plus on Mac or control plus on Windows. Now drawing a little circle, holding shift, white color. And I will move it around. And normally while using the move tool, you just move the shape around. If you hold command or control, you will create a duplicate. So the shape will stay there. And in the new location, there will be a copy of it. So I'm using this trick right now to duplicate this across my night sky. Alright, one more here. And for this duplicate, I will change mode, blending mode to overlay. And I will continue doing this again. So I got way lighter circle now. So we can see there is something there, but it's not really shining. Alright. Okay, and now I'm going to use a star tool. If you cannot see your star tool, check the third shape on the list. The third shape got all other shapes in. So just click and hold and you will be able to find star tool. Here's my star, hold shift to make a nice proportion. And I want to reduce the number of points. So here at the top from five to four. And again, downsizing. And let's do the same trick holding command or control. We can duplicate across our sky. By the way, if you wonder how I can move the camera left and right, I just hold my space bar, get the pan tool and release my space bar. And I can go back to the previous use tool. That's really handy because we don't need to switch tools all the time. Just holding down the space bar whatever you want to drag around the view, you want to pan around. OK, 
Okay, a few more stars around. So we are mixing this star with the very simple circle. And now the same trick for the next duplicate. I'm changing the blending mode to overlay. And a few more copies in the overlay mode. Right, almost there. Try to keep it random. It's really hard for us humans to do stuff randomly because whenever we see a hole, we think, okay, this is not natural. I must put the star there so it's equal. No, that's not the random way. So don't think about it too much. That's the best thing <laughs> you can do when you try to make some random natural patterns like that. Don't think about too much about it. All right. And as I say, I do not recommend now moving them around. Oh, look, this is big hole here. Two, two of them are too close. Don't do that. Okay. Just let's grab them all. And now it's so many objects, but lucky we lock our backdrop. So when I select them like this, I will not select the backdrop this way. I can simply right click in my layer panel, group them all. If you want, you can even rename the group stars so we know what's inside we can now apply the layer effect to the whole group so we don't need to do it one by one or do some multiple selection later so i can go for layer effects let's go with the outer glow so our starts are glowing nicely take a look we got nice glow around each object and i want this to be really light so i changing to overlay again and that's what I want. I'm not going to modify my stars later on. That's the part of the backdrop we can say. So let's lock this layer as well. So that's what our prep work. We prepare the canvas for our Northern Lights. To create them, we got two options. We can go with the pen tool or we can go with a rectangle and then modify the rectangle with a node tool. So I will pick the option number two because I know some of you are still afraid of pen tool a bit. So let's go with the easier option and I'm sure the pen tool crowd can follow up. So that's a simple rectangle over there. What I want now is I want this rectangle to be bigger than the canvas. As you notice, I make it larger than the canvas is popping out. That's important. Okay, let's go to layer effects. First thing. We're going to move this fill opacity from here, from the layer effects, not for the whole layer, from here to zero. So we cannot see the fill color, but we can still see all of the effects. So we need inner glow, radius, move the slider to the right. Unfortunately, it's stopped on 100, but it's still not large enough. Luckily, we can override this from the keyboard. So let's make it 100. 50 for my canvas. You see, it's bigger now. All right, so let's change the color, color of it to our Northern Light color. So I will go for the greens maybe. All right, and that's my Northern Light. As you can see, it's glowing all around. That's why the rectangle must be bigger. So we can see only the bottom part of it. But we never see a perfect straight northern lights. So what we're going to do next, we're going to convert this to curve here at the top. Convert to curves. It's not rectangle anymore. It's just a shape. So we can modify this with node tool. Node tool is this second selection tool. Look like cursor, but white. Node tool. And with the node tool, we can add a node like that, like here, maybe there. The sharp notes. So it's still not what we need, right? Sharp notes like this. They're way too sharp. So what we're going to do next is we're going to convert them into nice curvy notes. So I'm selecting all of those notes together and at the top convert, you've got three options. It's a sharp one, we got it already. We want a second option, smooth one. And now we smooth out our notes and we can play with it even further, modifying some angles. You can even add a new note right now here. Take a look, there's a brand new one. 
and this is organic pattern again so don't be too serious about it and as you can guess you can get exactly same effect if you're just drawing this shape with the pen tool but in our case that was a rectangle we modify all right so that's our northern light and we need a duplicate of this shape so let me just do a copies of that you can copy also by right clicking on the layer and selecting duplicate from the list one two and three like that not bad and now i need to make some changes so they are not exactly the same for example this one i need to make it larger so i cannot see the top of it can move this one down i can delete the node by pressing delete on the keyboard all right for the second one move some nodes around so that more organic not exactly the same that's better all right and then the very top one as well I'm working with the node tool today. Node tool is a perfect tool for beginners because we can modify any existing shape. We can reshape stuff here. Okay, so we got three stripes of lights on our sky. And now for the opacity, I want to change opacity of the bottom one to like 50% middle one 75 and the top one will be stay on 100 all right and let's grab the bottom one the biggest one we're going to add additional effect on this one so fx again and then we need a gradient so gradient overlay like that click on the gradient and we need to create multiple nodes here so we need to insert multiple nodes all right not this way i mess it up a bit so i'll go out and i will delete some of those nodes here we can delete as well because i need to add them all around not only on one side as you can see when you click insert it's inserting the node on the right side from there selected one all right so why do i need so many notes here so we can remix we can we got black here so next one let's make it a bright color then there's a dark color next one will be a bright color we got some gray color let's make it even darker next one will be bright color all right so let's make some like contrasting gradient like that between dark colors and bright colors all right this will be a dark color next one is a bright color got dark color here got bright color there and one more dark color will be here and with that out of the way i will also move those vertical lines can you see them it will cause some of the some of the transition to be way sharper so that will be a nice addition to randomize this gradient even more okay and now with this gradient and the preview on the left we can see that part of it is now lighter and part of it is darker let's modify the blending mode to pick a perfect balance so here soft lights overlay lights let's play with this area here let's go with overlay okay that's a nice addition to our northern lights so we got those gradients as well this is the biggest shape the first one only so that's the one that's giving us this uh, effect and now we are ready to let's select all three 
let me zoom out a bit. I like to zoom out when I'm moving big objects around. So now I'm going to rotate all three like this, scale up, make them more diagonal so it's not a perfect symmetrical picture like that. That's a nice overall light and then I will also draw some simple you know trees or mountains at this empty corner here to indicate that we are looking up to the sky all right so we need something to close this picture here at the bottom so let's zoom in there and this time I will use pen tool very simple mountains maybe this is more like a backdrop element just to close this image from the bottom A bit darker than the backdrop. All right, and again, playing with pen tool a little bit. Sorry, no tool to randomize this element. Okay, not bad. And then we will work with the highlights. So I will create one more shape ugly shape so we can go from the top like that this will be first highlight what does it mean i just need a color lighter than the mountain like that and i will drop this shape into the mountain shape take a look in the layer panel drop it above and now it's masked by the mountain so i got this highlight of the mountain here and another one will be maybe here. Okay, I drop it on the mountain so I don't need to take care of the top part. It's masked out. And one more. One more over there. and ugly from the top like that drop on the mountain okay move the mountain and just here above the stars so the backdrop elements are all down here and here it is our next very simple yet effective landscape this time we play with a node tool and some layer effects i hope you'll be able to follow up this tutorial if you have some ideas for the next picture, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to check all the tutorials. We got more than 100 of Mini designer tutorials on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.